I keep telling that husband of mine, put yourself first on payday. Plan your own future first. Be first for a change. But does he listen to me and open an IRA? No. The only way he'll ever make piles of money is to become a bank teller. And now, Professor Von Schnoz. Oh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and First Union peoples. Hey, we got a lot of good material to cover here, so I'm going to waste no more time with pleasantries and get right down to the business at hand, which is uh, the business at hand. All right. Behind me, you can clearly see the three investment options available to our customers. Everybody's financial situation and goals are different. So let's look at option number one. Oh, you're going to like this one. This one's called Retirement Account CD 18-Month Variable Rate. I named that one myself. Pretty clever, huh? <laughs> All right. Now, option number two, Retirement Account CD 18-Month Fixed Rate. Notice the word fixed. My wife named that one. Not so clever, huh? All right. So what we got here is option number one, 18-Month Variable Rate, and option number two, 18-Month Fixed rate. Uh, am I going too fast for you? All right. Let's go on to option number three. This one's a home dinger. Mm -hmm. All right. We call it retirement account CD, 36-month fixed rate. Uh, the maid named that one. Wunderbar. Hey, we got three options now. Now let's see what's different about each one. Aha. There is a big difference. Take a look at the chart. The minimum deposit for the 18-month variable rate is 100 schmackers. Any additional deposits may be made without extending the 18-month term. Now that's good news, yeah? There's a $25 minimum for deposits made at any First Union Bank. Ah, but look at the minimum deposit with the 18-month fixed rate. It's 500 schmackers additional deposits can be made but they must be at least $100 and create a new 18-month certificate of deposit. And with the 36-month fixed rate, it's also 500 schmackers as a minimum, and each $100 subsequent deposit creates a new 36-month CD. Are you paying attention? Well, I hope so, because we're going to have a little pop quiz on all of this following my lecture. All right, now where was I? Oh, yes, the big chart. The term is easy to remember for each option. You have 18 months, you have 18 months, and 36 months. Now, we're going to look at interest rates, and here's where it gets a little sticky, so pay close attention. With the 18-month variable rate, you got a rate that's going to vary monthly based on market conditions. And that's why we call it variable rate. Ah, clever, huh? All right. The interest, in case you're interested, is paid at the offering rate until the first business day of the next month following the purchase. The interest rate will then be changed on that date to the higher of one of the following. Either the average of the four most recent six-month Treasury bill auction discount rates, plus the stated spread, or the rate First Union is currently offering on 30-month CDs. So, whichever is higher on the first business day of the next month following purchase, that's what the rate will change to and will continue to change based on this formula. All right, moving right along. We see that things are not quite so complicated with the 18-month fixed rate. Even though the offering rate may vary daily based on market conditions, once a CD is purchased, the interest rate stays the same for the term, and you got the same deal over here with a 36-month fixed rate, except, of course, it's for 36 months <laughs> rather than the 18. Now, taking a look at the year base, we see we got 360 days with customer statements quarterly, interest compounded daily, interest credited monthly, and is automatically renewable at the interest rate offered at the time of renewal. And when the CD matures, the customer's got a seven-day grace period. And of course, it's all insured for 100,000 smackers. Now, to review the three options, I'm going to put some in a nutshell for you. If your customer is the kind of person who likes a little risk, then the 18-month variable rate with its interest rate going up or down based on the higher of a short-term or long-term investment can't be beat. Or if your customer wants to be certain 
of the amount of interest and locks in their yield, then one of the fixed rates accounts is for them. And if you happen to got a customer who just can't make up his mind, why don't you suggest splitting the IRA deposit among all three options? That's right. Deposits can be made in each of the three options. It just because a customer initially opened one type of IRA doesn't mean he has to stick with it. Of course, there's still a minimum deposit of 100 schmackers for 18 months and 36 months fixed rate IRAs and 25 schmackers for 18 month variable rate IRAs. Now, if I was going too fast for you to take notes, why don't you look it up in your retail services and procedures manual? It's big and it's green and it's got all the answers. It's really a humdinger. Well, see you next time. Wait, maybe this way. Now we go this way.